hear it all day records. We're going to start with um, the Peterson Field Guide series, a field guide to bird songs, um, which I, you know, I don't have the double vinyl of, so this is exciting. Um, there's, there's, you know, it's got all the warblers, Kentucky, Connecticut, Wilson, Canada, American, uh, very exciting stuff. Um, I actually will listen to this, maybe not all at once, because because I'd go out and, and commit murder, but it's still pretty good. Also, puffins, ironically on the cover, don't make a sound. So, next, we'll get serious. Come on guys, stay with me here. Uh, Jacques Brel is alive and well and living in Paris. Uh, Jacques Brel is actually one of my absolute favorite songwriters of all time, a French uh, singer from the 50s, 60s. Um, he's dead. Uh, he's, not, he's, he's not alive and well, and he does not live in Paris. Uh, but uh, I, was I was wondering about that. Yeah, no, no, he's dead. But he's great. He was great. Um, and I'm actually legitimately excited about this. I know a lot of the songs, but I don't know this performance of it. Oh, dear. Friends, uh, we are on DJ Bass Boy, uh, which one has to be wary of because of the high level of bass uh, in it. Um, DJ Skid has signed it, but I'm, I'm, it's got, I got the bass and <laughs> Mo Better Bass, which is more better bass. Uh, that's exciting. There you go, Jesse. Oh, we're getting serious again. That's a shame. Uh, we're getting to the, uh, an Errol Garner uh, CD, which is one of my all time favorite pianists. Um, that's really it. He's in, he's incredible and virtuosic, and uh, I don't know this record, so that's exciting. Uh, then we got a Philip Glass. Glass Philip. Glass Philip. They got it a little mixed up, which is weird, but we're not gonna. It was a, it was five. That's five dollars. That's that's it's pretty good. Um, but this has a uh, uh, collaboration with Paul Simon and David Byrne, and it's got the Kronos Quartet, which is an incredible uh, string quartet performing on it. Um, so that's really great. And then this, which I had to look very, very carefully to even figure out what was happening here. The, the scribbling is actually printed. It's a Monty Python record, not a Beethoven record. So I'll put this in my Beethoven uh, vinyl uh, uh, section and confuse people. It's like a decoy. Um, but who doesn't love Monty Python? That's all I got. I'm done.